I'll be reacting to Fairy Yanmaru episode 2. I will be watching it from Crunchyroll's website, and I will be starting my reaction in 1 0 go. Alright, I'm pumped up for this. Whoa. I actually like how it's delving into some of the darker elements, though, because. It shows you that the series is set from having happy moments, it can have some. dark moments, too. Aww. You can so. I do like at least, um, it's going to give one of the characters in the series major amounts of conviction, at the very least. But damn, it's got to be one of the worst ways of going down. <laughs> oh man, it's adorable in its own way. I do like that though, seeing the type of weight that one row voice carries. Damn. And I'm assuming that's how his father um, was killed because he had anger. And he also demonstrated wrath. That's going to be my guess because in him telling his son what I did wasn't wrong, I'm like, yeah. That sounds like someone trying to justify their revenge. And for, I'm not saying that the revenge from the boy's father was bad because they still haven't given us the context as to what he did. But. My assumption is most likely whatever the man did probably wasn't that bad. But hey, you know what? Out of the way, this actually um, makes Rey and Maru more captivating now. Only because behind the happy. the happy outward appearances, it's uh, more than just uh, that. You know, that's something that I appreciate. Whenever a series has like some kind of throw curveball to throw at me, it almost always makes it a lot more funner to watch. Because honestly, while this series is probably going to be more comedic centered, and it's showing showing the least of that it can have some dark moments, does show off that the series is going to have some heart into it, and that I can't wait. I mean, I guess I should say it would have heart, depending on how well they execute the dialogue. But with the first episode of the series being pretty darn good, I'm more on the side of it's probably going to execute things properly. Gotta admit, the opening is pretty kick-ass. Joining an eyes of doom. I just love the blue-haired one. <laughs> he looks so fabulous. Hmm. I gotta admit, the visual is falling, and then you see um, an airplane flying by. It actually is pretty creative. Even the sky looks beautiful. Honestly, the visuals for the opening are really rock solid. Hell yeah. The thing is, though, yeah, even the same thing every day is going to piss someone off, though. That's the thing. <laughs> oh, this is fucking adorable. Maybe using the power gives high cost against his body. And that's why he's struggling staying awake. That's going to be my guess. Because of the... Ah, oh, it's fucking adorable! <laughs> oh, man. If I had one of those creatures, I would definitely take it home. And... And... Spoil the fuck out of it. That's what I would do. Hmm. Damn. 
Jeez. Aww. You gotta feel bad for all that passion that she put into... Into what she drew. Okay, now that's going way too fucking far. Yeah, and if anything, hearing a potential um, a worker uh, seems like it'd be bound for a lawsuit or something. But then again, people do get cocky as shit, though. Yo, he looked absolutely... He is a... <laughs> he looked like a badass there. Aww. I mean, maybe you should try the independent, um... Manga route and maybe just work multiple jobs. I mean, I mean, her situation's rough regardless. And plus, it, I think plus it want to continue seeing her crying. Hmm. She thinks it's gonna be handkerchief. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking adorable. Hmm. It's from the Muse Academy. I just love the name of the Academy. It just sounds so freaking formal. I mean, that's a nice compliment at the very least. Jeez! What do the men do? I mean, I guess Somra is, um. Well, it's gonna be tough with Amora having that attitude. Now because of that, I'm probably not going to keep his distance. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Oh! No, that's actually nice to hear then. You mean get in some uh, mythology building knowing that the two clans are against each other. Aww. I mean, hey, that doesn't sound so bad. <clears throat> hey, it kind of looks like Dragon... Kind of reminds me of Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai's art style a little bit. Kind of. I mean, who could say no? Aww, we don't get that out of that! <laughs> I don't think I'm already surviving on that. <laughs> oh, the bloody creatures are fucking cute the way it's making us. Aww, that's nice. To see the creature looking out for our boy, then the opposite, our boy looking out for the creature. It's fucking adorable. Hey, they say sometimes artists can get a lot of nature amounts of innovation from real life. <clears> oh! <throat> My homeboy was such a cute little kid. And that explains why he has does not such a positive stance when it comes to hero stuff then. That puts a lot into perspective now. Or at least Omar is showing a bit of his gentler side now. Whoa!
Yo, this dude be slaying every single time we show him on screen. <laughs> Wait, what? Did he do some kicky shit with that creature too? It just looks like it's celebrating and partying. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! I mean, I was expecting our boy to sleep and fuck, but I was expecting the creature to somehow be involved in that. <laughs> okay, so she's a woman of culture with the whole game going on. Or should I say, that's a creature of culture, considering the creature's holding the game. Why would she smile and be smiling at the prospects of both of them killing each other? Whoa! It's like how someone wants to see the world figuratively burn. I mean, jeez. Aww. Okay, that's pretty fucked up because if she was surely a diamond dozen, you wouldn't be trying so hard to make her draw what he wants. God, man, Uno looks pretty cool there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this motherfucker! Wow. And if only they had have done what she wanted to do, maybe it would have had a higher chance of success. Man. That is honestly aggravating there. Oh, shit. Oh, this lying son of a bitch. Can't even take a blame like a man. What a ballless motherfucker! Oh shit. Okay, I'm hoping. I mean, I have a feeling Homer's gonna be able to save her though. It's a flame. Since he's got. Since his abilities are based off of flames, he should be able to rescue her relatively quick. All right, <laughs> I was gonna say, um, he was a fair distance from that location. Thankfully though, it looks like he can skip. Yes! Our man! No, 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 she can still continue her dream though. She can go the indie route at the very least. Aww. Well, she could, um, I know it's tough, but she could always make the manga again, you know? No, I thought she could the web manga route, but hey, this is nice too in its own way. The music <laughs> sounds so suggestive. <laughs> oh, it's fucking adorable though. Like seriously, from that shot, it looks like you 
consumed. I know he didn't, but it just looks like it. <laughs> I just love how they focus on his abs and abdominal area and his legs. Yo, but then they had like the beams of light. They're at just the right spot when it showed his dick. <laughs> oh man. Well, it didn't show, but it was like a ray of, ray of beaming light. Gotta admit, that is some nice uh, censoring there. Damn! It looks thick! Gotta admit, I do love the look and the painting and the red uh, markings on his face. It looking fucking cool. Yo! I wonder... The song itself sounds pretty nice. Kind of gives me like some slight sump gear vibes only because he hears singing in some of the action sequences there. Kind of Hawkins back to that. I like how that dude, he did like that jump as if he was in like some kind of Olympic games. <laughs> It looks absolutely fabulous, though, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, this is a fucking so bad! Yo! And saying that, the while the scene is cool itself, I do like the song and all that, I just, um... Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Don't get me wrong, Moe is cool, but when it comes to the manga and anime industry, but at the same time, non moe stuff is also cool too. Er to everything has its value, everything has to be done in moderation. Look at this Moe Kun! Damn, I mean, it's no surprise the power of Moe is that powerful. Yo! Yes! Oh, what? Oh, yeah, kind of like the first episode, too, when our, um... When the high was hit, but it was actually something else that they were supposed to hit. Okay, that explains a lot. Is he gonna actually die legitimately? And dude, that dude is so devious because he was so, kind of smiling when he was saying that. But then again, I guess it makes sense with the two clans in confliction with each other. I mean, honestly, the characters, I those characters aren't that bad. It's probably the shitty script that dooms them. <laughs> Yo! I 
looks so extravagant to the visuals. And saying that though, yeah, the action choreography could have been better, but gotta admit the over top the topness does lift this despite the lack of uh, animated frames per second in the fight. Yo, that is so bad as it is with the gun I have it. Yo! Yes! I like how he looks so fabulous too as he's doing it with all the sparkles. You know, Homer, what he did is truly hero feats. Aww. <laughs> yeah, the dude's quiet now. Not to, ret not to raise wrong, I'd like, say love can save a lot of things. Hmm. Yes! Our girl did it. Good, good, good. Aww. Yo, <laughs> they even blush like that, it's fucking adorable. Hmm? Whoa! Damn, that's pretty damn fucking cold! But I do like that though. So is it that the unity between the group, it's gonna be a lot harder to pull off and it's gonna be a lot more easier said than done for our boys to come together. And saying that, I dug this episode. If I were to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being abysmal, 5 being average, or 10 being exceptional, I'm definitely gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10. I'd say the only flaws that I can find and there aren't major flaws right now, but one of the flaws I do find though is since all the people that they help out lose their memories, it's gonna be a lot harder to get attached to the people that they rescue. Especially since, well, I guess you could argue that they're gonna keep their feelings intact. So and yes, that will allow for some self-improvement for the individuals that our boys help out. I'd say that's the only thing that might be a downside in the long run, where the people that they help out are not going to keep their memories. So a lot of potential character development is lost for the minor characters. Obviously our main cast, though, at the very least, they keep all the memories set. But, and then another downside I did find, potentially, and I did really like this episode. That's all rated a 7.5 out of 10 for above average, because 5 is average and 10 is exceptional. Another thing I gotta mention too is just the fact that the long extended sequences when there's song, which they sound great! Oh, Envy. Sounds like a cool title. They sound great, but I do have a question though. They spend all this time, but when there's like the action sequences, there's no choreography yet. You don't see our main heroes usually try to get the tactical underhand by dodging or using battle tactics. Instead, at the end of the episode, you see Homer just charge in through multiple Moe enemies in this episode, and boom, that's it. it it's pretty much a, a day when it comes to the action sequences in this series. So that's something that the series really needs to improve on in the future episodes, because, yes, at least from what it's shown so far, it, it's a nice parody of Matrigal animes, but I think it should, uh, at the very least, go for better choreography so that the action sequences can be much more engaging to witness. But I'd say other than that though, everything else was well done though. I actually um, felt really bad for the manga artist and I wanted to see her prosper, especially seeing how much she was tearing up when things didn't go well. So I thought that was actually really damn intense. And then seeing Homer lining up and actually go forward with helping around, and then you see him blush is at the end. It's actually kind of cute. So there were positives in this episode. 
that I really dug like that. And I love seeing his backstory where you see his father pretty much treated terribly. I was like, damn. Now that is some good shit. And that's why I thought the script for the episode was overall good because at least showed us that one of our girls is going to have a pretty dark backstory. And aside from one of the characters having a pretty dark backstory, I just love how it may raises the emotional 60, especially considering the, the fact that two of her characters have animosity against each other is actually pretty darn badass. And that's why I was a fan of the script of the episode overall, despite some of the downsides. But the positives way outweighed the negatives. And the artwork was pretty, so I gotta give it credit for that. And the vocal performance.